The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the September 20th, the terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that, well, is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four ship, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 30 minutes, 30 minutes, this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to give us a call, 877 927 6648. Would love to hear from you. But if you can't call in and you still have a question, I'd be happy to field that. Just send me an email, send it to Steve at tfnn.com. Inside that subject heading, if you'll be kind enough to put radio show question. And of course, inside our Tigers, then well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, we've got all the U.S. entities trading to the downside. Dow's off 291, S&P 35, NASDAQ 147, Russell's off 22, semis down 20. Gold's off three bucks. Silver's down 12 cents. Lights be crude off a buck 60. Natural gas up three cents. The 30 Treasury trade down at 130.01. That's down one point and 11 ticks. Leading the charge, dollar wise, the upside. You've got booking holdings up 20 bucks. Humana up 10. Argenics SE up seven and a half. Oxford and Industry is six. Karuna Therapeutics is up six. To the downside, it's Regenerate Pharmaceuticals off 15. Buckaroonie ZPAM Systems down 14. Replogen down 10. Lennox International off about 10. BlackRock down uh, nearly nine. Buckaroonie. So let's begin with uh, let's begin with the uh, ES Mini out here. Let's go change some screens out here. We'll take a look at some multi time frames. We'll take a look at some TAS market profile market breath out here. We'll do the whole kit and the caboodle. We begin by taking a look at the ES. Well, you know what we'll do here because it's easier to see. We'll switch back and forth between panels. So let's do this. Uh, change windows. And now we're back. Okay, so now we have... The four daily equity future contracts out here. Just simply the good place to uh, start. And as a reminder, where are we at? Well, there are completed A to B equals CD patterns. If you take a look at the ES mini, the actual A to B that we're taking a look at here uh, is going to be the high is going to be the same. That's going to be the August 16th high. The uh, B point for the first A to B equals CD is the August 24th low. And the C point is the high from August the 26th, about a 48% retracement. That led to a, a 1 to 1.618 A to B equals CD that was confirmed on Friday when we formed a bullish hammer candle. Now, if that bullish and that bull and then yesterday was a bullish engulfing. So it is the low of yesterday's session that is the key area of support that if that gets broken, then odds favor what the ES Mini will have is a larger A to B equals CD to the downside. And that would look like this. And the one-to-one -one price projection on that would be at 37.29, one to 1.272 at 36.08. So the key here, it is also a brand new daily profile that is attempting to form. I see attempting. Of course, we're using that advanced Doppler tool. It's an advanced detection tool. Let's us know where buyers and sellers are attempting to take their positions. In the case of the buyers, they're at the 38.79 level. We're trading at 38.83 right now. Resistance where the sellers are at is at 40.10. Now, this profile will not be confirmed until this evening at 6.01. That's the same with the NQ. That's the same with the Dow. That's the same. Well, the Dow has actually been confirmed. Dow equity future contract. But uh, not, so, not, not, so, not, not the case with the ES, the NQ, and the Russell 2000. 
I won't go through the small A to B equals CD to the downside, but we had that same pattern form inside of the NQ. Now, its key level of support that if broken will set up the larger A to B equals CD is going to be the low of that hammer candle from last Friday. And that price point is at 1177850. So if we were to see a close below that, 11,161.50 is the area. What price has done so far today is pulled back and tested the area where buyers are located. That's the bottom of that profile. That's 11,899. The low so far today, 11,887. If you look at the Dow Equity Future contract, again, a similar setup to the ES and the NQ. You can see the smaller A to B equals CD pattern. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. It, too, has a new profile that is attempting to form. No, it did form. Because uh, it, it did form. We had, uh, look, was attempting to form yesterday. So in the case of the Dow Equity Future contract, 3809 is its key level of support. We're trading right now at 3821. Resistance is 31469. So if the support level hole uh, fails, that's going to be yesterday's bullish reversal candle versus the hammer candle from Friday. So the key area there to watch is 3590. Now, if price busts through that area, that'll set up the larger A to B equals CD to the downside. That larger A to B equals CD to the downside will get us into the 29,537 to 28,652 level. But remember, as we speak right now, we have a buy the D point pad that is in effect for each of the daily equity future contracts. In the case of the Russell 2000, you can see it's by the D-point pattern. It actually really formed out here on September 7th. That by the D-point pattern has not been negated. There's another one that formed yesterday because of its bullish uh, reversal signal. So that really sets up the key area of support for it being 1779.30. It too is for trying to form a new profile with support or buyers located at 1794.87 and resistance at 1841.58. So we have established here on a daily time frame, new profiles that either have formed like in the Dow, attempting to form in the ES, the NQ, and the Russell 2000, and each of them with confirmed daily by the D-point patterns. What does that mean? That means that we should see price at least target their oscillator and change line for the daily time frame or the top of their new profiles, which we will not have confirmation of until tomorrow. So now let's go take a look at the short-term time frame chart for the ES mini. This way, at least we know where we're at on the daily time frame. Now we take a look at the ES mini charts out here. On a five-hour time frame, I do not have any kind of a bottom signal out here. What we do have this morning is price pulling back and testing support. That's the bottom of this profile at 3865. The 240 or the four-hour time frame chart does have a confirmed Rosemont indicator bottom. Price also testing support the bottom of that profile. On a two-hour time frame out here, what we had for is a TD nine-count top. That took place at 4 o'clock this morning. Price is pulled back to test its bullish structured profile. That's an area of support. Below that, there's additional support at 38.51. As we take a look at the 60-minute time frame chart, if as we come into the 12 o'clock hour, the ES Mini closes below 38.98.50, the 60-minute chart will then have a confirmed TD9 count bottom. What that should then lead to is a test of its oscillator and change line. That's currently at 38.97. 3901 is the top of its profile. Close above that would suggest a further rally. The 30 minute chart has confirmed a buy the D point pattern. That suggests that price should go target its oscillator and change line. That's currently priced at 3889. Steve Rhodes with TFN will be right back to finish off the ES Mini. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Dow's down 336. S&P's off 40 points right now. We've got the uh, chart up here for the 30-minute time frame for the ES Mini. That's the S&P 500 that I'm showing here. And uh, what we can see is there are 104 instruments uh, trading above the top of the profile, 140 right now trading below the uh, bottom of the uh, profile. So that, uh, even though this uh, lines here haven't crossed over, that's probably just an update. Uh, but uh, it's telling us that the uh, we should expect or anticipate some type of retracement on that 30 minute time frame. Now we'll come back over here and take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Uh, that's where we left off and it has a confirmed by the D point pattern out there. So there's a new profile that is formed out here. It's bullish in structure. This really does tell us that price should hit the top of that profile or that oscillator and change line. But if we do get some type of retracement, the area of support for it is between 38.63 and 38.68. We've got a TD Nike out bottom on the 15-minute chart, a Rhodes Mintum indicator, and TD Nike out bottom on the 10-minute time frame as well. Key levels of resistance that must fail there to suggest a, a further rally would be really 39.03. That's coming from the 15-minute TD Nike out breakdown level. So in summary, for the ES Mini, you've got a confirmed bottom on the daily. You've got a, a confirmed bottom on the 60-minute You've got a confirmed bottom on the 30-minute chart. You've got a confirmed bottom on the 240, on the two-hour chart out there, on the 15-minute, on the 10-minute. Uh, and certainly rally attempts are being formed out here. But we've got to get or it's got to get more instruments trading above market profiles than below market profiles. Until that happens, all these rallies are going to be sold into. If I take a look at the larger time frames, or we take a look at the larger time frames, what I mean by that, 60-minute. 240 minute for the ES mini. Let's get over to that dashboard. And here we can see that everything in, we're looking at the top dials in the upper right, everything is set in the red zone. It's not the kind of red zone when you're watching the uh, football, this is in the bearish red zone here. So there's definitely, uh, from a profile standpoint, more instruments trading below profile than above profile for what, quite frankly, all four or five time frames: 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 240 daily, and the weekly time frames. And that's the ES Mini. We have at least one request that is in. So let's go to uh, that. That was from inside the Tiger Sun. That was from Humphrey Bogart, who wanted to take a look at uh, ticker symbol ET. So let's go ahead and get that up on our screens out here. And uh, ET, what's that, energy transfer or something like that? ET is energy transfers LP. And I believe the question was, 
Let me see if I can find it. Can you look at ET? Looking for a point to add to the long-term position. So, when we take a look at ET, if you take a look at the daily time frame chart, formed a nice TD9 count top back on uh, June 8th of 2022, makes a huge move to the downside, forms a uh, TD9 count, and it really forms a roads to indicator bottom back around the July 6th time frame. Then price goes ahead, makes a move to the upside, makes a 100% move of a move. That means getting back to the June highs, and in doing so, forms wave number seven, letter G. That, too, is a top. Then price pulls back, and it's just really been kind of consolidating sideways. Since price right now is with inside its new uh, a profile out there, one spot to consider adding to that position, Humphrey, is at the 1139 uh, area. That is the bottom of that daily profile. So that's one area to keep in mind. If price is going to get down to 1139, you need to see it close below 1161 on a weekly basis. Really, 1174. 1174 happens to be the weekly oscillator and change line. So we've got competing, com com competing, competing patterns out here. The weekly says I want higher price. The uh, daily says maybe I want to consolidate between profiles. On a monthly time frame, price is up at resistance. That's the top of its profile. The top of its profile is currently printing at 12.03. So we know what resistance uh, area is up here. And the question is, where is support? If I take a look at a 30-minute time frame, just to see if there's any kind of pattern out of your hump that suggests that we had lower. Well, that really took place here, the TD9 count, at 1 o'clock yesterday afternoon. So that may have been the place to add, but you still have to know that you are really up at resistance. There's no breakouts that have taken place out here, at least as of yet. So you'd be adding to a position that is up near resistance. But even though price up at resistance, I don't have any... Um, any uh, patterns out here that show that any kind of levels of support have broken, and that includes the 30-minute time frame out here, which just simply made a wave seven top. It does that at about uh, two o'clock yesterday, was it yesterday? It might've been Friday, September 15th, whenever that day was, that was last week. Um, and then moves lower, makes that TD nine count bottom. So your specific question is where do you add? The best adding spots that I can see right now would be down at about that 1139, 1117, 977 issue. Um, but right now, we don't have a signal that suggests that price is going to get back there. It's possible to get back to that. Well, until price closes below 1174, that's really not what the uh, charts are communicating to us. So Bogart, Humphrey Bogart, I hope that helps you out with regard to uh, ticker symbol ET. Thank you so much for the request. The uh, phone lines are open. The request lines are open. The emails are open. What chart is up? Did I have? Yeah, I got the white. That, uh, that is the uh, chart here for uh, ET out there. Those are the charts that are up. That was from Mr. Bill. Uh, yeah, extraterrestrial. Uh, so let me see if I've got any requests that have come in by email. I didn't earlier, and I don't at the uh, moment. So what do we want to do next out here? Give me, uh, you saw the Dow chart? You saw the Dow chart? How could that possibly be? Right now, uh, uh, by a show of hands out there, uh, we'll go to Mr. Bill. Mr. Bill, are you seeing the charts for ET? Three panel charts out here right now. Should be what is up on your screen out there. Um, and I hope that's the case. Um, so I don't know how people were seeing the Dow charts, but uh, i tell you what I can do. Yes, okay, great, okay. So, um, Perfect. So no request out here. So let's go to um, what do we want to go take a look at? Yes, you see it. Eat, ET and a 10. Okay, thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, let me see what is moving out here. Uh, let's go take a look at Apple. AAPL. It's up 215 right now. And it, Apple, really much like the NQ, I know that on Friday it formed a, a bullish hammer candle out there. That was really a confirmation of the smaller A to B equals CD to the downside out here. So the key low, the key area to watch is going to be Friday's low. If the markets are going to move lower and get back towards those June lows, you're going to need to see it close below the low of that bullish hammer candle. That was 148.37. That was the trading low from Friday. Now, because we have an A to B equals CD to the downside, whenever you get a confirming bottoming pattern, could be a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom, could be a TD9 count bottom, could be a buy the D point pattern, could be a three drive to a bottom pattern, 
a number of patents that are out there. What then typically unfolds, as we're seeing here right now, in the case of Apple, is to move up to its oscillator and change line. The oscillator and change line on a daily basis for Apple is at 156.93. The actual high today so far is 156.89. Price right now is trading with inside a bullish structure profile. If price can clear that red oscillator and change line, again, that's 156.92. What Apple will do is make a move to the top of that profile. That's at 159.60. So you've got to confirm by the D point pattern. Price right now testing resistance. That's the weekly time frame. If price does clear that daily oscillator and change line, it will then have some potential sellers at about 157.63. That's the weekly oscillator and change line. So therefore, if price can clear that level, then that's a move up to 159.60. And if price can clear that, then we're looking to move to 160.46, maybe 164.38. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. Let's get to a couple of den requests out here. The first one's coming in from Sat P inside the Tigers Den. Let's take a look at the XLF. Um, so we take a look at the XLF at top with the TD9 count top. That was on uh, August the 16th. Bottoms with the TD9 count bottom. That was on September 1st. Also formed a buy the D point pattern. Uh, that got uh, completed on September the 7th out there. Yesterday was a test of uh, two prior swing points. The uh, first one being September 1st. That did 40 million shares. The second one uh, that was... Uh, on uh, September 6th, that did 45 million shares. Yesterday was a test and rejection of that swing point on lighter volume, 36 million shares. So the bottom seems to be pretty solid here. Now, what I mean by that is just simply the XLF should go target that oscillator and change line. That's up at the 33.49 level. Above that, resistance would be at 33.95. 
The weekly time frame chart says, hey, hold your horses here, guys. I'm trading below my red oscillator and change line. Trading right at about the bottom of its uh, new weekly profile that formed yesterday, just slightly above it. So it just suggests on a weekly basis, caution. But you do have a confirmed two bottoms out there for the XLF and the third one, which was a test of a swing point, a test rejection on lighter volume. You wanted to look at BAC as well. So I thought we would do the sector first just to see what it was signaling to us. And now let's go check on the health of Bank of America. It'll take a moment here for the Bank of America charts here to populate. But once it does, it will give us a what? So this uh, did not have a TD9 count bottom that formed out here uh, because it was not on the low, was not on the bar of 8, 9 or the bar following 9. But there certainly was a buy the D point pattern. And that was confirmed with that bullish hammer candle on September 1st. That was confirmed with the bullish piercing candle on September 7th out there. Bank of America a little bit stronger than the XLF, but it's really dealing with the consolidation with inside its daily profile, 33.51 to 34.63. So you're up at resistance. I wouldn't tell you to buy here. If you're looking to buy or add to a position inside the XLF, I would say one area to look would be 33.51, the bottom of that daily profile. As I take a look at the 30-minute time frame chart here for Bank of America to see if there's any kind of signals there, the answer is not really. What this is signaling to us on a 30-minute basis is price trading with inside its profile. It's fairly large, 33.75 and 34 dollars. That is the support zone. Resistance at 34.75, which was hit and uh, 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 rejected at 10 o'clock. No, that was 10 o'clock yesterday. Yeah, 10 o'clock uh, yesterday uh, morning. Price is below the oscillator and change line. So Bank of America should pull back in that 33.75, 34 level out there. So I hope that helps you out, Sat with regard to uh, what the XLF and Bank of America are doing. Thank you very much for your request. Dan, inside the Tiger's Den, uh, wants to take a look at Cassava Sciences. S-A-V-A is the uh, ticker symbol there. Cassava Sciences right now is taking on resistance. Dan, that is the top of its daily profile. The top of that daily profile, as you can see, is at 34.46. So that's where your sellers are lined up. Cassava Sciences... Um, does it have a confirmed sell the D point pattern out here? I don't think so. It looks like it's a much larger A to B equals C, but maybe there's a smaller one. Nah, that's not even it. Yes, yeah, so I don't see the A to B equals C D pattern out here. And the reason I don't see that, well, here I'll just draw on the A to B line. Oops, that, that's a hit the wrong button and you'll get the wrong result. That's for sure. So let's draw in the A to B line. So that's at that wave seven bottom out here back on July 27th. Then I go all the way up that shooting star. Now, if we simply take that A to B line, move it to where the C point is, you'll see Cassava Sciences has got an A to B equals CD or could have one if price can clear that shooting star. That's the high for the trading day of August 17th. And that would then take us up into the $45-ish area, 44 and change. So what you've got, uh, price is moving up today. It's done 1.8 million shares. Uh, versus on September 13, 2.7 million shares. But doesn't really matter from a volume perspective. Yes, price is pushing higher. It does have accelerating volume. But what we know is that the sellers are lined up at 34.46. And Dan, that's the number you are looking for price to close above for two consecutive sessions. If we get that, we likely then get the fulfillment of that A to B equals CD to the upside. The monthly chart out here has that nice TD9 count bottom. That suggested over time, Price should go target 38.71. Well, if we get a close above or two closes above 34.46, really the level that price really needs to close above to confirm that A to B equals CD is going to be 35.58. If you can close above 35.58, you'll go target 38.71 to 41 bucks. And if you get above that, then you'll get off into that $44 area out there. So right now you've just got a good old fashioned consolidation. It's easy to draw in uh, inside of the uh, weekly time frame chart. We'll just use our rectangular tool. Bottom is very clear, and I think the top is very clear as well out here with regard to cassava sciences. So it's somewhere right around that range. So, Dan, thanks so much for the request. I do hope that that helps you out. And let's go to our next request. That next request coming in from, let's see here. Uh, Bob in Spokane. Let's take a look at McDonald's. MCD is the ticker symbol. Let me get a little quench of water here. Uh, give me a moment here, folks. 
Actually, uh, before we go take a look at McDonald's, we've got a caller, and it's John in Philly. Hey, John, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? I'm doing very well, but based upon the stories you told yesterday about the preceding week and not nearly as well as you. Well, John, I've never had a fishing day like we had on uh, Friday last week. Uh, the most amazing thing. You've, you've, you've done a lot of fishing. The only thing comparable to it, the only time I've ever had anything similar to it, uh, but it's pretty normal, was uh, perch fishing in uh, Lake Michigan. And, and you know there, you take barrels, right, uh, garbage barrels out there. You can throw, you know, <laughs> right, you can throw your, your line over with 10 hooks and you'll come up with, you know, 9 or 10 perch out there. But that's a different type of fishing. You know, that you kind of typically experience out there. You don't, you know, experience that in the, uh, you don't get three out of first the first two casts. And pull, be, before I could throw the second line in, we were hit on the uh, first rod. Both times. So, uh, yeah, that was a beautiful thing. But I know you want to take a look at Adobe out here, ticker symbol A-D-B-E. Or do you have any fishing stories like that? Well, Steve, uh, uh, I do not want to uh, bore your audience and the uh, TFNN uh, uh, crowd. Uh, so I will not share my personal uh, best fishing story. But sometime when we're together, you can Perfect. tell me more about uh, Massachusetts fishing and i'll tell you about maine fishing ah perfect 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 that sounds good uh, well buddy anyway, yeah, up... steve yes steve yeah, i ahead. wanted to ask uh, please help me with your tools assessing adobe um just for what it's worth literally in the past hour i took a partial position this is an unleveraged portfolio position in adobe at 292 um uh, so that is where I'm standing. I'm taking a shot here. The stock has come off of that 2021 peak up at 700. And the most recent dump from, you know, 390, this, uh, this occurred as uh, Adobe management uh, spent just a huge chunk of change buying a, uh, another uh, software company. And clearly uh, owners of Adobe... Uh, are just voting with their feet saying Adobe management paid far, far too much um, for uh, they just entered into an agreement with last week. Anyway, mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. um, uh, but I, uh, I have known this company, uh, obviously, for uh, 20, 25 years. Yep. Uh, and I'm uh, taking a starter position. I'll do a little scale down if that occurs. So hey, John, we're going to a hard break. John, John we're going to a break happened. here, John. Hold, hold that thought, John, if you will. We're going to a break. We'll come back. We're going to take a look at Adobe with John in Philly. Just a few. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for Dave's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're on the line with John in Philly. Hey, John, my apology for having to cut you off there as we're going into the hard break. Uh, but I know you want to take a look at uh, Adobe. You've taken that long position there. Is there anything else that you wanted to share with me uh, before I take a look at the uh, charts as I was cutting you off, so to speak? Thank you, Steve. Specifically, I ask you in observing your monthly, weekly, daily charts. Yeah. Uh, if you can and if you can share with us what those say to you in attempting to identify potentially where and when a uh, tradable bottom is likely to form. Excellent. OK, so easy question to answer from this standpoint. I'm taking a look at a A to B equals CD pattern. There's uh, several of them potentially with inside of Adobe. The one that I'm looking at, John, is when this formed a wave number seven top back on August 15th. I'm sure you have noticed that. And then the A to B equals CD to the downside. Now, this completed more than a one to one A to B equals CD to the downside, I would say. And it did that when we had a bullish hammer candle that formed on September 16th. The problem is that that bullish hammer candle was also a gap to the downside or a falling window. So the question is, was it a bullish candle or a bearish candle? Well, the answer to that could come today. If price were to close below 292.14, the low of that bullish hammer candle, then that would tell us that a key level of support had failed and that price is likely to head lower. If price close, holds at 292.14 level, that by the D point pattern, then you could see a move up towards its oscillator and change line of 337.32. So the key area, I believe, to watch today, tomorrow, 292.14. The reason why I think that's a key level to watch is because my eyes gravitate over to the monthly time frame chart, the very right hand panel. And what we see here, John, is that this month, the month of September, will be the bar following bar number nine. It is the low of the pattern. And that suggests that a TD nine count bottom should form this month. Now, its breakout level, where prices may, may target, doesn't have to target, is 255.13. So I would say odds favor if price closed below 292.14 on a daily time frame, then Adobe should go target that 255.13 area. Does not mean that it needs to get down there, but that should be its price target. And the weekly time frame chart has a road momentum indicator signal that's been triggered. So there, if you get the uh, early entry, such as let's say this, let's say uh, the daily, uh, the position that you took earlier, you had a close above 292.14. That A to B equals CD pattern holds, and then you eventually get a bullish reversal candle on the weekly. You'd have then two confirmations to follow up with the TD9 count on the monthly. So it's 292.14 is the key area to watch out here. You get a close below that in odds favor, it's going to make our price going to make its way back towards that 255.13 level. Does that make sense to you, what I'm looking at, yeah, what I've shared with you? Yeah, perfect. And that monthly bar after uh, bar nine on the TD9 count, yeah, that's very, very fascinating. My only, <clears throat> just my, um, my observation over the years and years and years is, uh, I have seen many, many times in which a company does a big dilutive deal. Yes. And uh, holders just 
you know, give up and just get me out, get me out, get me out. Uh, oftentimes, uh, those uh, horrible declines in this, uh, both the monthly, the weekly, and the daily charts are absolutely horrible, no doubt. But I've uh, seen situations like that where it's capitulation and price doesn't go up for a period of time, but it doesn't go down very much further. And so, um, so that's a terrific set of parameters. That's all I ask for. So I thank you, Steve. Hey, John, thanks so much for calling. You have a, a great uh, Tuesday. That was John in Philly, and that was Adobe. Uh, let's go to our next request out here. Um, let me make sure that I uh, get to it. I believe that is going to take. We took a look at BAC and the XLF. So I believe the next question out here is for Tesla, T-S-L-A, and that is for MKC inside of the uh, Tiger's Den. Um There we go. We got rid of that, so that's helpful. So I'm just trying to go back and take a look at uh, Steve McDonald's. Uh, oh, is McDonald's. Do we need to take a look at McDonald's? MCD. So there we go. Uh, I will go back and take a look at uh, Tesla momentarily. But their first question came from Bob in Spokane, and he says uh, McDonald's has been stable through this last downturn. Thoughts, please. May start a position soon. So we take a look at McDonald's out here. You do have that nice TD nine count bottom that formed on September first. Uh, that swing point had volume of 2.5 million shares. That was tested with 4.3 million shares. So McDonald's isn't out of the woods just yet on a daily basis. Price did find resistance. It's really consolidating with inside the daily profile. So, Bob in Spokane, you're looking to add to a position. I would say it would be between the levels right now of uh, 25176 to 25292. 25292 is the bottom of the daily profile. The uh, first figure I gave you was the TD9 count bottom low. That's a swing point from September the 1st out there. As we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, we can see that uh, there was a TD9 count bottom, forms March 11th, and that takes price all the way up to its breakdown level of 266.72. So we know that's a key area of resistance. With price below its green weekly oscillator and change line, that pullback into that 259 is uh, not uh, unwarranted out there. In fact, if I look at a 30-minute time frame chart, what this is signaling to us is if price closes below 254.05, that's the bottom of its uh, current profile, you should see it move to 252.98. So on the 30-minute chart, Prices at support. If that support level fails, that suggests lower price out here. On a uh, monthly time frame, you've got a TD9 count top that has led really nothing more than a test of support, the bottom of that monthly profile. You're right, this has held up very well up towards its uh, highs out there. I don't know if those are the all time highs. Let's pull this back. Um, yeah, I'd favor that. Uh, not, not only back to 2009, but it looks like uh, McDonald's is very near the all-time high out there. So you're looking to add to this, or perhaps uh, get a starter position. Again, watch the bottom of that profile or the low of those swing points from September out there. So I do hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for the request. The next request was from uh, MKC. Wanted to take a look at Tesla and Coin. Let's put up Coin. Coinbase first. C O I N is the uh, ticker symbol. Uh, let's see what we can find here. And with regard to Tesla, let me get that up on a different screen. So with regard to Coinbase, what is Stevie's show? Um, the daily time frame, not a whole lot. Price is consolidating with inside its daily profile between 61.66 and 73.80. Nice road momentum indicator bottom on the weekly. That took price right up to where the sellers were located at 101.73, the top of its profile. You're consolidating with inside that profile. 56.05 would be a potential area to consider a uh, long position. Monthly not helping me out. So if you're looking for a long position, you say you just have uh, to uh, take a look at it, I believe. Uh, if you're looking to go long, I'd wait for about the 56.05 uh, area, and I'd like to see some kind of bottom signal on an intraday chart. Tesla, T-S-L-A, uh, that's trading right now at 312. It's trying to take out uh, a prior high. The prior high it's trying to take out takes you back to August 16th. There were 88 million shares traded on that day so far. In the first two hours of trading, you've done about 30 million shares. So this very well could generate the type of volume to take out that swing point. That swing point being right here, trading day of August the 16th, that high is at 314.67. In fact, you may have a confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside, September 12th. That did 48 million shares. You crossed that yesterday with 60 million shares. So Tesla 
as a confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside. Maybe price is going to go target 364.07. Steve Rhodes with TFN. We'll be right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we got a uh, request out here all the way from Poland, Mike in uh, Poland. Um, and he wants to take like, a nasty headache, so he didn't want to telephone. No problem there. He uh, wants to take a look at uh, three ticker symbols. We only have really time for one. So we'll choose uh, Franco Nevada, FNV. You want to take a look at uh, Qualcomm and ticker symbol DAN. So we take a look at uh, Franco Nevada out here. We can see that it has triggered a Rhodes momentum indicator signal, but what we don't have is a bullish reversal candle. And that ideally is what you want. You can see on a daily basis yesterday, price had a nice move, ran right into resistance, that resistance being its red oscillator and change line. That's currently printed at 119.86. Ideally today, you have a, uh, or ideally maybe tomorrow, you get some type of bullish reversal candle to confirm that Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. Then you need to see a close above 119.86 to suggest a rally up in the 124, 126 level out there. On a weekly time frame, what I don't see, I don't believe what we see out here, is a uh, buy the D point pattern. But let's take a look at the A to B level. Let's move that over to our C to D area. That would take us to about right there. Yeah, so we don't have a completed weekly A to B equal C D pattern. The monthly does not have a completed pattern. So what that is suggesting on those longer term charts is likely lower price out there. Well, we do have a chance. Maybe let's go take a look at Qualcomm, Q, C-O-M out here. Um, 
They're on your watch list for long-term buy. So Franco Nevada, keep the uh, powder dry there. Let's wait for some other better patterns to show up before you take a long position there. Qualcomm does have a wave seven bottom. That was confirmed yesterday. Now, what you need to see here is for price to close above its oscillator and change line. That would uh, need a close above around 126.93. That number is going to change by pennies or so as price moves up and down. But if you do get a close above that, you should see a move to 128.63. It's a close above 128.63 where you would have a change in trend signal. That's the top of its daily profile. Otherwise, the weekly chart says 121.03 might be a better buying area out there. There is no bottom signal yet on the monthly time frame. Folks, thanks so much for all the requests out there. Have a terrific Tuesday. I'll see you back here at 11 o'clock sharp on wonderful Wednesday. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a great day.